What's up, you guys? It's your boy Eddie here, NK Infinite Gains. We're here with muscle and strength going through a full day of eating for you guys. So I hope that your eyes are hungry because I'm starving. All right, so before I do my first meal, I typically like to do what I call a pre-meal little deal, where I'm sure you guys have seen it plenty of times before with other bodybuilders, but I like to do, start my day with off with some apple cider vinegar. Tastes like garbage, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So a little bit of apple cider vinegar with about 12 ounces of water, give or take an ounce or two. Glutamine, cinnamon, very important. L-carnitine, need that for sure. Daily probiotic. If you're, if you're a bodybuilder eating insane amounts of food, you need this probiotic to keep your gut health in check. And I'm telling you that from experience, a probiotic is needed. Vitamin C, you can't go wrong with vitamin C, guys. All right, guys, so for meal number one, I'm actually gonna have a little bit of fun today. You caught me at a weird time. I'm kind of reversing out of my show diet a little bit so my food isn't completely insane at the moment. I'm still doing a little bit below 300 carbs. But anyways, for meal one, we're going to do some blueberry oatmeal pancakes with an omelet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with two whole eggs. And I'm also gonna do a little bit over of a tablespoon of almond butter. And that's because we're actually going to work out after this meal. So this is my pre-workout meal. And as you know, fats slow down the digestion of carbs. So when you're working out, you want that consistent release of carbs. The fat's gonna slow that down so we can have more of a consistent um, push of energy throughout the workout. We'll go with about, about a cup of oatmeal about three fourths of a cup of silk milk, a good bit of cinnamon, fourth of a tablespoon of pink salt. This is going to help give us that good juicy pump today at the gym. So you don't need an insane amount of baking powder. There we go, just, just a little bit. A little over a cup of egg whites. So you just saw me make meal one. What we've got in front of us right here, we have a cup and a half of egg whites made into a crispy omelet that's gonna taste amazing. We've got four oatmeal pancakes right here. We're gonna throw on some sugar-free syrup, probably just drizzle on some almond butter and throw some blueberries on top. Now this seems like a lot of food right here, but believe it or not, this is the same food that I eat every day. I just made it a little bit differently. I made pancakes out of my oatmeal and omelets out of my eggs. I like to get a good amount of food in me before I train. Most guys train off two, three, four meals. I just train off one. So my first meal of the day is actually pretty big so I can get a great workout and a great pump and a good push. We're outside of the gym right now. We just finished training chest. We got a good workout in and doing my post workout right now. So we've got a 30 gram shake right here and I've also got a Rice Krispie treat. Now a lot of people might be wondering why I'm doing a Rice Krispie after a workout. It spikes any form of simple sugar you wanna have after your workout because it spikes your insulin, which causes the protein to absorb quicker. So I always try to do some, sort in the off season, try to do some sort of simple sugar right after I work out to get that protein moving quick. And then I go home and eat meal two, which is my post-workout meal. So I'm really enjoying this Rice Krispie right now, coming off prep, believe me.
All right, you guys, we just finished up our workout. We're doing our post-workout meal right now. And this is your classic bodybuilder meal right here. We're just gonna do some chicken and rice. We're gonna grab this rice. I like to do jasmine rice. We got a big tub of that. And then we'll also throw in a half cup of green beans out of a can. Yes, I'm that guy. I'm eating yeah, green beans out of a can. can. This is a big can. This thing's gonna last Holy me like shit. a week and a half. <laughs> 200 to 220 grams of rice. That's gonna give us about 60 carbs. We're gonna do seven ounces of chicken all in one bowl. We're gonna go ahead and warm that up. So our post-workout meal should hold me over pretty good. All right, you guys, I got my post-workout meal here. You already saw what it was. We got the half cup of veggies, seven ounces of chicken, about 200 to 215 grams of rice. And on top, we put on some sugar-free ketchup. I'm sure you see everybody doing that in bodybuilding. Um, we try to stay away from the sugar a lot, so we just do sugar-free condiments on our food. But yeah, I'm about to chow down on this, watch some anime, and enjoy. So I'm sure you guys have noticed all the toys and stuff here in the background. Um, this is my son's stuff actually, and I'm a, I am a dad. I just had my son, his name is Eddie Lusk the fourth. Fourth generation over here, guys. Um, he's two, just turned two in January. We're both January babies, so that's awesome. But it's a different dynamic, you know, being a professional athlete with a child, especially a bodybuilder, with how stringent and spartan you have to be with this lifestyle. So it is a sacrifice, I will admit that. And that's something that I think any competitor should give some serious thought to if they want if, if they want to take this thing far is how much time with your kids are you willing to sacrifice how much time with your family are you really willing to give up to be great at this sport and that's with all things like entrepreneurs business work whatever it is you really kind of have to weigh those options but um i think that i've been able to find a pretty good balance to this point and my girlfriend definitely does a great job helping out and all the support that she gives so just something to think about moving forward, guys. Y'all, you guys out there that want to compete that have kids, it's gonna be a lifestyle change, trust me. All right, you guys, so Big announcement, I have just signed a sponsorship, athlete sponsorship with Rule One Protein. I'm blessed to be with these guys and I just got my first delivery from them. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm excited to see what we got. We got a full box of stuff. I got some R1 Protein bars here, fudge brownie crunch. The biggest tub of protein I've ever seen in my entire life. Some shaker bottles here, their newest uh, pre-workout, the pre-lift. This is supposed to be pretty intense. We've also got some premium electrolytes. We have some 100% creatine monohydrate. You guys should already know what creatine does. It should be a staple in all of you guys' plans. Got some swag. I think the sponsors are important because it, takes, it alleviates a lot of the stress for us. You know, as you can see, this stuff would cost us a lot of money. It means a lot to me, really. It means that, you know, my efforts are kind of are paying off a little bit. It means that the, the people are seeing me, they're watching me, and they've just kind of noticed that we're doing some good things over here. Right now, I'm eating my third meal of the day. It's pretty simple. It's a half cup of jasmine rice and six ounces of turkey. So nothing flashy with this meal. It's your basic bodybuilder meal, but we got a little bit of Harry Potter on right now, so. We're about to just enjoy this. Changing it up. Yeah, we had anime on earlier. We got a little Harry Potter on right now. Like after the show, are you kind of lost right now as to where your what your routine and what your schedule is, or is it are you pretty much locked in the same thing? It's pretty much the exact same thing. I think that's where I where I thrive at is time management. So every every part of my day is pretty strategic in a sense. So I always try to keep the same schedule every single day. I'll just make a whole container of ground turkey or a whole container of ground beef. I'll cook up a whole 
giant pot of rice and that'll probably last me maybe three to four days. So I'd say every, every, I'd say every three to four days, there's a day I'm cooking in bulk. That'll kind of take me a little bit of time. But other than that, it's pretty smooth. Just cook everything up, have it already prepared, throw it in the containers and get my day going. All right, you guys, so we got meal four right here. We've got six ounces of turkey, six asparagus spears, and a half cup of jasmine rice. Um, again, this is one of my lighter meals of the day. And we're about to go ahead and chow down. All right, you guys, so we're back eating again. We have meal five right here. This is six ounces of red meat, three fourths of a cup of jasmine rice, and one cup of green beans. This is one of my heavier meals in the day. As you saw, the rest of my meals are kind of lighter on the carbs. I stay pretty consistent with my proteins, as you can see, you know, my seven ounces of chicken, my six ounces of turkey, and now I got my six ounces of red meat. So even in prep until peak week, the amount of protein I get is always pretty consistent, about that six to seven ounces. So anyway, we got meal five right here. About to go ahead and uh, dig in. We're back for my sixth meal of the day. It's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock right now. I like to get my last meal in kind of late, but um, we've got ourselves one cup of egg whites with one whole egg, about a half cup of spinach, two slices of Ezekiel bread, and then we're gonna top all of that off with some delicious almond butter. I'm feeling really good right now. I'm looking forward to this meal. So that was my full day of eating. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Muscle and Strength. Share this video, get it out there. Hope to see you guys again. This is your boy, Eddie Lusk, signing off.